Hello, baseball fans. Hope everybody's staying safe out there. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so. There's a new YouTube channel. Your support is huge, and the best thing you could do to support me is subscribe. So, I thought today we could do a vlog on one of the most interesting international free agents coming on board this season, and that's no other than Tomoyuki Sagano. Now, a little bit about this guy, if you don't know. He's going to be 31 years old. He's pitched in Asia, and he's been very dominant over there. He's got a fastball between 92 to 93 miles an hour, a really wicked slider, an amazing, amazing command. In fact, he actually threw a postseason no-hitter over there. But let's look at his numbers in 2020. In 2020, over in Asia, he went 14-2 and with a 1.97 ERA. 2019 was a little bit off for him, actually. He was 11-6 and with a 3.86 ERA. And in 2018, he was 15-8 and with a 2.32 ERA. He's won the equivalent of the Asia Cy Young Award twice. And this guy will be interesting to see how his potential translates to MLB level. Basically saying, can this guy pitch in the MLB? We know he can pitch over in Asia, but sometimes pitchers have a tough time adjusting. But with this guy having such good command, I think he's definitely going to be a decent starter for somebody's rotation. Not as high as people predict. I actually see him as a number four or number five just because of his age. And I do worry about injuries, especially with that back and hip. However, how much money is he going to make? Well, they expect him to sign for two for $24 million. I do suspect, though, that he's going to get that third year. I think it's going to be more like three for 30 $34 million with posting fees and taxes all included, and having him for just over $10 million, or sorry, $11 million on average, ain't bad, especially if he has that potential to put up some really elite numbers. Now, I know people have compared him to you, Darvish, or... Tanaka or Ryu just don't see that and I think a lot of that has to do with his age those guys were posted a lot younger in their prime so really for him to be successful at the MLB level he needs to stay healthy and he needs to make that adjustment and make that adjustment very quickly now the teams that are going to be interested in him and it's actually a big list as they have until January 7th to complete that signing but you have the Yankees, and the Yankees might be looking at him as an option just as an upgrade over Tanaka and somebody that they think could get a little bit cheaper. You got the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays need rotation help, but I really think that they're going to look for somebody a little bit more higher caliber, a little bit more consistent, somebody with that MLB track record. You got the Rangers and the Red Sox. They're both in the same boat, rebuilding teams that just need starters. So if they're going to win on him, it's going to be because they outbid these other teams. And last but not least, you have the Mets. And why do I say the Mets? Well, as I said in a previous vlog, I could see them adding another starting pitcher. Why? Well, you got Noah Syndergaard, who's going to be out till probably June, and he might need some time to adjust from Tommy John. So he could definitely fill that void for the first half of the season. And the second half, he could fill any deficiencies. Maybe Marcus Stroman's not pitching up the snuff. We'll just have to wait and see. And if they don't extend Marcus Stroman, well, then there you go. You've got Sagano who can continue on, especially if you sign him for two or three years. So as I said, three years, $30 million, 34 all in with posting fees and taxes. Let me know where you think he's going to end up. Stay safe. Hit that subscribe button. And we'll talk soon, guys.